Saturday guys, it's Thursday afternoon. We are heading uh, west up to um, towards Bisham Abbey. Exciting day today. We're gonna be first interviewing Romeo Jozak, who's the head coach of the Kuwaiti national team and also former technical director of the Croatian FA and also former academy manager of Dynamo Zagreb. So I know Romeo quite well. Uh, he's been on the podcast and he's now the national team manager of Kuwait. So really excited to do uh, another interview with him for the Inside the Academy interview series. And then, amazingly enough, we're going to be going to Bisham Abbey, uh, the old home of English football, to go and watch the Kuwaiti national team train and record some of that content for the coaches pass. So uh, really exciting day. I've got the dream team. Everyone's in here. Owen and Ethan in the back. And a man like Alex Sparrow as well. And we're going to get some top quality content for you. So guys, just finished the interview with Romeo. He look, he's, I love to speak to Romeo. He's just a passionate guy, one of the top youth developers in the world. He's got science and research behind what he talks about, but uh, really inspirational. I'm really buzzing every time I come out and I have a chat with Romeo, so he's, he's a fantastic guy. You're really gonna love the interview. Just standing in front of the bus here now, the Q80 national team bus. They're about to go down to Bisham Abbey. We're gonna shoot down, trying to get there a little bit early, set the cameras up, and I'm gonna try and film the session as well. So Rome, Romeo deliver, delivering his session, so, uh, another exciting part of the day, so I can't wait to show you guys what's going on. Exciting like guys, just turned up at Bisham Abbey. Um, Kuwait are going to be on this pitch by the looks of it. Interestingly enough, MK Don's first team looking at their, their training over there. It's just quite interesting, they're just finishing off though. Uh, so we're looking just to try and set up and uh, see how much we can get of this, uh, this session. So Alex and Ethan now the boys, the magicians that they are, are going to try and get the cameras going and then we're going to get as much session as, as we're going to, going to get as much of this session as possible so really looking forward to it. Game two days ago, yeah. uh, it was like a third game we had in a row. Um, not back to back, but we went one one day in between gap, and we had a day off yesterday. So where there was a really like a like a walk-in training in the morning, and now yeah. we're gonna get refreshment, get the agility back, get the quickness back because they're already slowing down after the game, right? So we got to get them get them moving. We're gonna be working on the basic principles of the play, opening space, creating individually, two players v one. And then we're going to be having some some ball possessions with the reactions of four players covering the width and covering the depth. Uh, we're going to have three colors at the end for the ball possession to switch on the sides. So it's going to be good. You're going to see how it is. Love it. I'm going to move this up here.
just watching the Kuwaiti national team warm up. Really interesting. Look, I say to everyone at every, any level, you, whether you're playing part football on Sunday or you're playing national team level, do your warm up, do it with the ball. And you can see what they're doing, little activation, different little stations, getting it warmed up. But lots of ball activity as well. And that's a great lesson. You know, if you talk about technical coaching philosophy like Romeo talks about, is that I think that's got to run through every part of your session. And it's interesting to see that, that good, simple as it is, but the key, the ball is involved at all times. So that's uh, really good to see. So guys, they're uh, doing a little bit of a, just a basic little wide draw, actually. Not, this is nothing extraordinary what you're doing, but it's interesting to see how the coaches are interacting with the players. Like I was just saying a minute ago that, you know, it's about reminding boys to focus and having that technical quality and everything. So that final pass into the corner of the goal, the assistant coach is just saying, like, thinking about your pass to a striker, you want it zipped across the floor. I don't want to receive that in the air. I don't want the ball coming in the air. Do I really want to be on the floor? It's going to be easy for you to manage. So that technical detail all the way through and just trying to get that quality and intensity from everything they do. But look, great seeing these guys at work. Guys, everything. Listen for Marco very carefully. Everything stays the same. We have one more player here, here in the middle. Okay? So I'm like defender. You cannot watch behind. Now you, Harvey, you try to open up. He is the one who goes first, okay? So try to open up to receive the ball. Let's say, Harvey, you go on this side. Fast pass to him. If the ball passes, I don't play anymore. Now, Abu Jassim, when he plays the pass, you open on that side for the pass. Ball back, pass. Okay? So I don't turn. Me as defender, I try to read on which side he will go. If, if I take the ball, for example, pass, just turn around and everything continues. I just play fast pass, hard, you go like you play. So just this one defender that will try to block you. And you, Harbi, you have to be fast and quick to play one, two with uh, Abu Jassim. So you side, tap, tap. Okay? Now you open on the same side. If the ball goes here, you open. Pam, pam. Okay? Defense player. 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 You look for the space, pass back, and then you move on. Okay? Let me see it. Let me see it. Let me see it. Keep it up, keep it up. Let's go. Well done. Very good. Very good. So guys, uh, Romeo has gone into like a 4v4 plus 4 uh, possession practice. Two, two, two teams against each other, four magic players, two players in the middle, two of them on the outside target. Just really interesting to see like, just variations he's doing, changing the conditions of some of the players in terms of how many times they can touch it. But just obviously you can see his intensity, getting into players a little bit, uh, his quality coming through and, and his way, you know, he's getting the most out of his players. So really interesting to see. <laughs> So, um, just as you know, he progressed, it's got basically gone into a similar practice since the last one. Uh, another possession drill, 4v4 by 4, just now in like a 20 by 20 square. Basically, actually, like he, he changed the um, size of the pitch, so as he felt that, I assumed that it was a bit too easy, so he just told his coach to bring it in, which is nice to see, you know, even like that level, recognising that maybe, you know, the, 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 uh, the spaces weren't basically... No, uh, ideal and then being able to just change it so same again he's, uh, he's very in the touches and stuff like that and he seems a lot happier as well a lot of good quality movement possession is much better and there's a bit around so great to see a master at work basically <laughs> It's in the middle of a training training camp, so uh, yeah. we have those. Uh, Perfect. Of... So it's all right. We just go through each bit and just just a little just idea of what what you did and why you did it. 
So, uh -huh. just so, so you began in the first activation. Yeah. Uh, just tell us a bit about that, because I know there's a ball involved, because he's a ball involved. Ball involved in yeah, I want to always, um, obviously, always want to want to have the ball around to have the touch and the feel, uh, because everything they do, other than other than outside the balls, obviously they're. Uh, So guys, uh, look, great session, still buzzing there, seeing Romeo work and getting to speak to him and get behind the scenes, uh, one of the best coaches in the world. So very kindly he's invited to his dinner, so we're going to nip back to the hotel with the guys, have dinner and then wrap it up and then uh, yeah, back on it tomorrow. So guys, fantastic day, inspirational day with uh, watching and speaking to Romeo Jozak. Uh, so privileged to be able to get that. Some amazing content. Remember, all the sessions are going to be live on the Coaches Pass and My Personal Football Coach. Don't forget that. And then the interview is going to be live on the inside the Academy website. So looking forward to getting that. Trust me, it is unbelievable. You're not going to want to miss this content. Cheers for the boys as well. For the dream team up here, fantastic. Uh, getting all the stuff and uh, looking forward to our next trip out.